Hey guys, so today's recipe is really a long one. So this is something that I don't do every day, but I did it for a Halloween party. You want to start out with your pumpkin. You want to slice it up into smaller pieces and cook it for 20 minutes. And then you want to go ahead and mash it all up so you get pumpkin puree. Next, you wanna take your butter, you wanna add the white sugar and the brown sugar. And you wanna whisk that all together. The softer your butter is, the better this will work. And now you wanna add in the eggs one by one and then whisk it all together. You also want to add in the egg yolk and then the pumpkin puree as well as the buttermilk and some vanilla flavor. Now it's time to mix the dry ingredients. So the flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and a little bit of salt. And then you wanna go ahead and mix that in, in about three portions. Now this was the easy part. You want to put that into two baking tins that are the same size, preferably. So this is half the dough. And the other half. This looks so delicious. You want to bake these 180 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes, which is quite a long time. Now, after you've taken them out and they're cooling down, you want to take your cream cheese. You want to add the powdered sugar. As well as some cinnamon, a little bit of salt and some vanilla flavor. And if you want some orange food coloring, And then you want to mix that all together. Next, you want to take your whipped cream, whipping cream, and you want to whip it, basically. So you get whipped cream. You want to make it as stiff as possible. Then you want to get both of those together and carefully mix them together. Now my mixture was super wet, that always happens to me. So I had to cool it down a lot before I could move on. So I distributed it on one of the cakes. And then I let that cool down and then I put the other cake on top of that. And practically did the same thing again. And then I carefully did the sides as well and I had it cooled down in between a lot. So this actually took a long time, but it worked out in the end. So I would stop here because that was super delicious. What comes now was a little bit too much for me, but you want to take your butter in a bowl. You want to add some cream and some chocolate to that. In a second bowl, you want to heat up some water with sugar powdered sugar and then you want to add in some creme fraiche and mix that in
then you want to mix everything together and let that cool down for a minute and then pour it over your cake. But since my cake was super running already, this was a hot mess and I felt like it was way too chocolatey for me. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate. So I think without the chocolate topping, it's absolutely perfect. Um, all the guests really liked it, even though it looks <laughs> a lot messy, but I really enjoyed it and I hope you try it one day.